It was giving me a bottle full of horse tranquilizers. Didn't care about getting to the root of the problem. He just wanted to shut me up. Oh. I think it might be time oh. for one of those pills. <laughs> uh. Call Comfy? Uh. 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 This won't do. It's even harder than a seat on a public bus. Oh, when were you ever on a bus? Oh, at a cocktail party once for the Friends of Transit. I wasn't invited to that. Will you just help me up for God's sake? All right, all right. All right. Hold on, oh, hold on. Oh, ow. Okay? Ow, ow, ow. Um, oh, God, you know, um, maybe I should take another one of those pills. All right, all right. I'll get you a glass of water, okay? All right. I go. I go. Uh, you know, things really are going well with Mel. Uh, I've been out with her almost every night. I, I, I don't want to jinx things, but I dare say we're well on our way to becoming what might almost pass for an item. Uh, oh. I knew, Fraser. She is just the. Oh my God! Did you fall? No. No, I'm actually quite comfortable now. Look. There's no glare on the television. And here's a lovely place to set your drink. Just give me your hand, and whatever the chair's telling you, don't listen. No, not no. It's helping my back, actually. You know, and when you sit in it, you don't have to look at it. <laughs> well, if you're really interested in correcting this problem and not just medicating it, you should consider that technique Roz mentioned, you know, listing your problems aloud. Oh, give me a break. Well, uh, it's perfectly possible this is connected to some submerged anxiety. What's bothering you? Oh, yes, now, do you really expect me to sit here all alone in this apartment prattling on endlessly about my problems like some sort of a lunatic? You think I'm gonna do that? You're the one that needs to get his head examined. <laughs> Oh, oh, good God. Oh, Annie. Please, just chew. Get off of me. Get off of me. Oh. 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 <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, do you want to know what's bothering me, too? All right, well, here's a start. I'm talking to a dog. That bothers me. <laughs> I'm another year older today. I suppose that bothers me. <laughs> They're not as much as people seem to think. Uh, I'm still single. That's a big one. Not having a woman to share my life with. The only women in my life are friends. Roz and Daphne. Daphne's not even here anymore. She'll be married soon. That's gonna be tough on Dad. Who am I kidding? It's gonna be tough on me. It's been nice having her here. Even when my love life isn't going so well, I can always come home to a, a warm and considerate woman. You know, that's, that's probably why I've been so brusque with her lately. I know that once she's gone, I'll probably be twice as lonely. Well, it's quite a realization, isn't it? I really do love Daphne. Now I'm about to lose her. I've got to show her how I feel about her while I still have a chance. <laughs> well, I don't know if it was the therapy or the, the painkillers, but I actually feel a bit better. Let's try this. Oh. Oh. You know, there are subtler ways to let the patient know his hour is up.